This is Randy Thompson coming to you live with Trudy Adams and Miss Melody. We're at the end of, well, beginning of August 2015. And in this session, Trudy asked with her horses if I could, if we could work on getting them more connected with the rainbow feeling. And the rainbow is when they have an arch in their neck, which really comes from the horse softening the jaw, the pole, and then stepping up from the rein into the rider's legs. And now Trudy's feeling what she's doing when when Melody will lock up against her. Good, good, good. See how you're getting the mini stretches now? So Melody's tendency, she's taken us four years to get her this relaxed, so you know her history. And you can see more of the history in the playlist area of the Randy Thompson Live YouTube channel that you're watching this on right now. Four years ago, this was a very hot, nervous, complicated horse, very anxious. And we've slowly been bringing Melody back, and she's almost a pleasure horse, so we're very happy to see her in this place now. But now Trudy's asking for more connection. She wants her to stay more focused than she has in the past. So she's doing the steps to connection, where she's checking, is Melody soft when she picks up the rein on either side? And then does Melody give her back and neck? And of course, is she stepping up from behind? Good. Keep her connected. Do you feel where she wants to disconnect after the halt? Good, and it's not that she's being bad. This is a different way of riding her. We were riding her more like a green horse for the first few years on a loose rein and just helping her to relax and come back. And now we're asking her to go on more of a connection. This is new to her. We started asking her for this level of connection the beginning of this year. Good, take your time, soften her jaw more. Yep, good, good, she picked her back up when you hauled. Did you feel, did you feel that? That was very nice, Trudy, look up, look up. That's it. She has to soften her jaw before she does anything now. Take your time. So when I first met Melody, her tongue was out of her mouth. Her mouth was open most of the time. In fact, her nose was higher than her ears. She'd roll her eyes back into her head. Her ears were flat back. She was gnashing her teeth. And that was four or five years ago, so it's quite a change. She came back from a trainer and had those issues those issues. Good. Take your time. Be softer. There you go. And this is most riders will go through this process. Those of you who are riding greener horses are horses that are going to compete in dressage for training level where you have to have them connected between the rein and leg. This is part of the process you'll go through in the connection to get to that next level from going from a Green horse balance to a more of a training. Good, good. Take your time. She needs more leg when you feel her getting stuck there. Yep. So when yep. So always add leg to that rein. Remember the leg. The rein does not work without the leg asking it to step into it. So every time you pick up a rein, you run to think, can you get her to step up into it? And then praise her. Good. Yep. Rein leg at the same time as the inside hind is off the ground. If you're using the inside, it'll be now, now. Now, 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 that's it. Take your time. That's a technique that's taught by the Spanish Riding School, by the way, where you use your inside rein and leg at the same time. The horse's inside hind leg is on the, off the ground, leaving the ground the same with the outside. If you're using your outside aids, you use it at the same time that the horse's hind foot is leaving the ground. That's it, that's it. Inside leg would be now, 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 now. Now, now, that's right, and the outside rein and leg, tell her where to keep her body positioned on the outside. Good, how's she feeling? Good. So what she's saying now, she's starting to not pull on her, and horses are going to pull at different levels of their training. Sometimes it's as simple as the rider holding the rein a second too long, and I do mean a second. Yep, she needs to be more supple in the front end so you have the rainbow. The rainbow is when the neck has an arch, which with what we're doing is really when the horse is lifting up their back. So we're not doing a headset. When Melody gives her neck, you'll notice she's stepping under differently from behind and rolling through her shoulders because we're not asking for a headset, we're asking for her to release her neck. Yes, good, Trudy, feel the difference? Now, as those of you who are working on this will realize, when you try this, is you're going to have to readjust your horse's balance and, and position like every other stride. So Trudy's going around and she's thinking every other stride, okay, is she, 
Is Melody giving me a mini stretch on the inside rein? What about the outside rein? Can I get her to stretch here? Can I get her to, yep, get that stretch on the outside. Yes, Trudy, good, good, good. So only Trudy knows what she's feeling right there. And all she's basically feeling is when Melody leans on a rein, that's when Trudy uses her leg and rein on that side to get her to soften on it. Using a new camera here, so you know I coach as I'm filming. That's why you see some movement in the camera. Watch your back end first. Remember, think of the leg yield. Good. Think of the leg yield to get her back against your outside rein and leg. It's called the barrier of aids, the corridor of aids. We try to balance our horses between our inside leg and rein and outside rein and leg. Sounds simpler than it is. Yep, get her active behind first so she goes against your outside rein and leg. So you're going to use your inside leg and rein now, 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 now. Again, I'm looking when the horse's Melody's foot, inside hind foot is off the ground for the inside aids. Yes, good! How's that feeling? Yes, she does get distracted easily. So Melody looks for mockingbirds. She is a hot, sensitive kind of girl. Good. Now start changing. Go between a regular trot and a more forward trot and see if you can keep her connected. Good. Keep her connected. And by connected, I mean she should be soft on the reins from Trudy's legs. Yep, so she should have the rainbow in her neck. Ask her to stay connected from your leg. That's it, do a curve, ask her to lengthen, and then ask her to shorten. Good, so if you're doing a 20 meter circle, you'll do half of one at a slower trot and half of one at a, like a medium trot. That's it. Now you feel when she went into the medium, she just went faster. So you're gonna ask for the medium trot, she has to keep her shoulder up. So you're gonna ask for more power from behind. Feel the spring you have in this trot? Ask her for a medium with more push by keeping her shoulder up. Keep her shoulder up, soften her, good. Tap her up, tap her up, there you go. Keep her shoulder up, feel the difference? Yeah. Okay, now slow her down, keeping her shoulder up. Cause this is where you're gonna build up the gas for the medium the next time. Slow her down until you feel her sit down. Tell me when she's sitting. Slower down, slower, slower, slower until you feel her sit in. That's it, and that's the trot you want to go to the medium on. Okay, have her sit down as she goes into the slower trot again. Slow, play with your outside rein and leg. Good, good. I slowed down. That's all right, that's all right. You might need a walk break by now. What are you starting to feel with what she's doing, Trudy? Staying connected. Staying more connected, that's right. Very nice. All right, take a walk break. Again, this is Randy Thompson coming to you live with Trudy Adams and Miss Melody. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel at Randy Thompson Live at YouTube.